Hello, my name is Diego Curiel. Welcome to People in Perspective. Today on the show we have Carlos Montano. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, so I heard you work for a major airline. Uh, what is that specific airline and what do you do? So uh, thanks for having me. I work for Southwest Airlines. Uh, I do a variety of things. Um, one of the main um, things I do at Southwest is customer service, dealing with customers every day. Uh, they have questions, concerns, sometimes complaints and compliments, and I help facilitate those uh, questions and concerns that they may have from a day-to-day -day basis, as well as helping my peers, my coworkers, and, um, and a variety of other things as well. Um, what made you go down this career choice? What inspired you? Uh, I've always wanted to work for an airline, and Southwest specifically was one particular that I, I really enjoyed and I heard a lot of great things about. Uh, I do like to travel, and um, working for an airline allows me to do that. It's a great company. So, um, so do you like your job in general? Uh, I would say I love my job. Uh, most people, uh, coworkers, and I'm not just saying this because I work at Southwest, but um, I've been there over 12 years, and everybody that I know that worked for Southwest, they rarely leave. They really, we really do enjoy what we do. And um, when you enjoy what you do, it's not really like a job. I mean, you're, you're having, it's a different day. Different things happen every day in the airline industry. It's very interesting. It's not boring. And uh, with Southwest, uh, if I want to move to a different department, do something different, uh, they'll train me to do that and they'll support me uh, on that change. Um, so I heard you have a daughter, a 32 year old daughter. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I ask some questions about that? Not at all. Okay. I know that she has Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to know how that impacted your life. Well, that I would say when it, imp it doesn't impact your, your life, any child that you have impacts your life, but as the years go on, it impacts it differently depending on the needs of a child. Uh, uh, a child or a person with Down syndrome does have special needs, um, and not all of them are, have the same needs or at the same level. So it's a, it's a day by day and uh, with therapy support, um, uh, it, it's, it's, it's impacted me in a good way, I would say. It opened my eyes out, my eyes up, or open, should I say, to, to people with, with, with those type of needs. How would you say it impacted other family members? Well, uh, I don't know exactly specifically how it impacted them. I would have to ask them specifically, but I do know that they gave me a great deal of support and love uh, with Anna, uh, with her, and with me, and, and uh, my, my other children as well. Mm. And she is in good health? She's in good health, absolutely. Uh, sometimes I think she might be in better health uh, than my other kids. Uh, she eats right, she exercises, and uh, yeah. They do have, uh, people with Down syndrome do have some, some physical um, needs, you know, so they, they you know, with, with seeing and hearing, but of course there's you know, eyeglasses, you know, like we all wear and to help us with that. And so depending on her specific need, you know, it's addressed. Mm -hmm. uh, and how many other kids do you have? I have four other kids, uh, all girls, one boy, and they're all supportive of Anna. That's I good. I think she listens more than any of all, all the other kids that I have. <laughs> and um, are they all adults now or are some of them still teenagers? Anna's the oldest, the youngest is 20. So yeah, 20. Anna's the oldest. She looks the youngest though. She doesn't look her age 32 years old, but um, um, she is the oldest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so how would you say um, raising all of your kids mm -hmm. every day, what was that experience like to see them grow up and learn right from wrong? Oh, that's a good question. Um, as a parent, you know, each child is different. Um, you love them all. And in teaching them right and wrong, you want to set a good example. But you're not with your children all the time. Um, they sometimes have to learn right and wrong. And, and a lot of times you know what's right and wrong. It's, it's doing what's right and wrong, which is 
the challenge for not just kids but adults as well. And uh, as long as you keep them in a good env environment, lead by example, and tell them that it's okay to make a mistake. You know, I never ask for perfection, but I do ask for progress. So that's one of the things I instill in my children. And have you always been able to be there to provide and support your kids? With my ability, yes. Uh, I, I'm fortunate to be there to, you know, to provide and support. And, and providing support doesn't always mean, you know, having a great job or making a lot of money. It's being there to answer their questions, um, being there, um, you know, whether it's for a school function or, or just to talk and walk and, and, and just be there for your kids. So um, I've had that opportunity. Uh, thankfully, I, I do work a lot, so I have to learn to balance that, you know, my work and family life uh, as, as do other parents. So it's a fine balance, but you know, being a parent is, is a challenge, it's a gift, and, and I'm glad to, to be a part of that. That's nice. Um, well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm Diego Curiel, and this was People in Perspective.